That'd probably help. Hello, lovely friendos. I'm Jeff. This is the D-Pad, and uh, today we're streaming some more RimWorld. Uh, gonna unpause right away, just because uh, we, we got a lot of stuff to get through at this point. A um, lot of resource gathering, a lot of uh, things of that nature. Um, just wanted to check. I forget. Yeah, we don't have any current... Uh, expeditions. Hey Alex, hey Zim, how you two doing? Let's see. So, last time I believe we were yeah, getting getting as much steel as we could off of the map in preparation of having to do a uh, a lot of building of things. Oh man, the ambrosia's ready. Hmm. Right, they all ready. All right, let's all harvest this shit. But nobody gets to do drugs. Um, let's see. Last time we gathered some things together, uh, yeah, getting a lot more of these, uh, steel slag chunks. We're gonna try to make some of those back. Um, I really don't have a chair for that thing. I must have moved it or something. Um, let's see. Alex was on vacation last week, back to work. Summer reading season is exhausting. That is true. Like, that sounds about right. And Zim... Your debit card got nuked from orbit. Oh. No. <laughs> That's not good. Who nuked it? The banks or somebody messing around with stuff uh, caused it to get nuked? Super annoying. You're always like, oh, yay, banks, easy access to my money, everything's great, until it doesn't work, in which case it sucks. I'll go up to 2x. Gallant is the only one inactive, but that's because they pretty much only do art. Haven't been doing too much art lately. Oh, we finished a bill for components, huh? Um, how many do we have? 21? Bank stuff did it. Gotcha. On a new cooling pad for the laptop. My uh, my brother's laptop got to a point once where he uh, he had to put it on top of a box fan, and like whenever we were playing World of Warcraft or whatever we were playing at the time, uh, it sounded like he was in a windstorm or like you know was playing outside in the rain. It's not ideal. Okay, good. We are banking up hay in there. The fan's quiet. That's good. Makes it a lot easier to, to do things, if that's the case. Um, all of our heaters are on, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, so cooling pad will reduce the ultimate, like, sound slash uh, uh, fan usage from the inside of the... Uh, Laptop. Got a little wood left. That's good. Um. Okay. Well, somebody should be smelting that at some point. Yeah, we'll speed up through. Oh no! A deep space miner named Grunt calls you from nearby. He's being chased by outlanders from the Dyth Dathanina. It's always so hard to say. Dathahina Dath 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 Coalition. He begs for safety and offers to join your colony. Blah, blah, blah. He's being chased by 150 people. What? He's Lightning's lover. 
Oh no. 7 8 9 10 16 21 22 23. <sighs> I don't really See this is the problem. Like we could do this, but it could also end up murdering some of our friends and that is just so many people to get through. 23 with grenadiers. Ugh. Uh, I don't think this will upset lightning at all or anything. Right? Nope. Lightning's fine with it. At least it was only their lover and not husband or anything. Yeah, we never told Lightning. It's probably more accurate to what, what happens. Alright, we're getting some fine meals together now. A lynx is hunting Marat for food. Who the fuck's Marat? Do we have a new, a new puppy named Marat? Oh, yeah. Yes, we do. Um, is this thing going to go around? It's a smart lynx there. Oh my god, it's amazing at dodging. Fuck, we, <laughs> we fucked up our cooler a little bit. <clears throat> I I don't think that they get upset about, like, lovers. And I don't even think that they mind if, like, you know, family members or something, you don't accept them. Um, I think if they see their family member die, then they do get upset. But I think that's the only, like, normal case when that happens. All right, good. We're making a ton of components. We have nine advanced components, which is crazy. We're going to need so many more. Uh, power grid is still doing fine, especially since we reconnected this generator last time. Uh, let's see. We do have a good deal of money. Yeah, actually, we're at 10 grand. Um, and plasteel up to 600. We're going to need some more plasteel and some more advanced components and then just more steel. Um, since Lightning had an established lover in the world, did that keep him from getting one in the colony? I believe so. Um,. I think those relationships are, like, auto-generated, and you can't really control them in a lot of cases. Uh, but they can start extramarital affairs or, like, you know, um, start relationships, you know, uh, and, and cheat, like, you know, ex-lovers and things like that. Um, I think it's a lot less likely. Um... <laughs> James Games joked about sweating with lightning. Yep, sounds about right. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not actually sure, Alex, how it works in terms of, like, you know, warning that if this person is already taken, then they'll, uh, you know, they, they won't accept any offers of... Uh, courtship oh my god we have so much fucking meat this is still on yeah get rid of that insect meat
Yeah, that is true. They definitely do get a negative mood if they have to, like, brush somebody off. So, uh, okay, it's actually the beginning of fall, or it's the end of fall right now, and it's getting cold. Um, what are these peace talks? Ah, uh, with the Dahanina Co a Coalition, those motherfuckers. And that, which we're not going to get. Um, so last time I think we hit up Kural. Um... We could send somebody to Plata to try to do some more. Wait, who's who's just hanging out right now? Probably Gallant. Um, actually, not the worst in terms of negotiating. I guess we'll just send. Oh, but yeah, that's only one person. There's nobody with a gun if we send those two. Uh. We sent Gallant, and we sent Lightning, and a bunch of animals or something. They should be probably all right. Um, I guess I'll... Oh no, three of your pawns got kidnapped. <clears throat> Was it from a like a, a raid that got knocked out and taken, or were they like on the world map doing stuff? Oh, now you've drinked your leg. <laughs> this is a bad stream so far for you, Zim. Oh no. It was a raid. You can go get them back, but it is kind of a bitch sometimes to actually make that happen. Um, I'm just going to keep grinding components. All right, good. We are gaining steel, and we have a ton of these to still smelt. Let's see. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we can put together a a uh, a little a little uh, expedition. Um, All in all, I think, you know, the faster we try to get some of this stuff together, the better it'll be. Um, and gallons you can go too. You guys will take Punkus. And... <laughs> Big boy, a large energetic dog. Take this, this one, uh, that one is not adult, we can take this, and probably also some puppies, right, like, we can sell Deadbeat and Marat. And Ty and Gretel. You guys are going to bring... I don't know. 200 kibble. 20 of these bad boys. 20 of these bad boys. And I think that we cleared out most of what we wanted to sell. Oh, I'm going to do this. Uh, 20 of those, just in case. Um, I guess I guess we can sell the Ambrosia. It'll be worth a good deal of money. Um, and we'll send along 3,000 silver. That's 90 out of 140. F 
four, 12 and a half tiles. They have six days of food. Uh, let's see. Okay. The reason that the animals are not going to be too happy is it's too cold to graze. Um... Yeah, because that's five and a half days. What about this? Actually, Lakeness is only 3.81 days, so let's fucking do that instead. Um, he should still have all the things he need. Kibble. Meals. Shit to sell. Animals to sell. Uh... Silver. Okay. <laughs> Where's Lake Lucas? I don't know. Got Lake Abibar, Lake Toxaria. Like goodbye. Doit Liberium Bay. Strange. Keenum Sea. Actually I haven't looked at a lot of like the, the names. Oh the free panda ocean. Why didn't we set up there? We would have been rolling in free pandas. That was a foolish move on my part, I'm sorry. So hopefully before too long they'll get all the shit together, pack it up on uh, Punkus and get going. Alright. Um. Oh, okay. I was like, what could have happened at the end of that research? But yeah, it's attempting to... Um, what's actually useful for the moment? Um... I guess we'll just knock out AI Persuasion. There's our intrepid group. It's funny, they're going to walk right past the peace docks. There would be no peace. Blah, raiders, black and attack, intensity you've never seen, mechanoids. Yeah. So basically, as soon as you turn on the spaceship and attempt to charge it for the season, everybody tries to fuck you up. Which is so much fun. Chunkus has given birth uh, to Muffalo Calf 1. Is 
said it. Yes, to Muffalo Calf One. <laughs> Punkus, my father brother. Wonkus, my brother uncle. Um We have Hunkus, Punkus, Chunkus, Wonkus. Funkus. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, apparently Chunkus couldn't really think of a good name, so it just went with Funkus instead. Or it just went with uh, Muffalo Calf 1 instead. All right, let's see. Everybody should be active. Oh, visiting whose grave? Ah, oh, Spirit's grave. Speed this some bitch up. Well, thankfully, at least, we are semi-ready for the the spaceship rush insofar as everybody's now got flak jackets, I believe, and flak vests, which is excellent to uh, reduce their likelihood of being cut into tiny ribbons. Um, eventually, making some more helmets would probably be a good idea. have a couple of people in helmets. Ah, nobody has an inspired surgery, which is kind of funny. Nobody, I don't think, has really done much medical treatment so far. Hey, what's up, Seidel? As you can see, you are alive. Huh. Peaceful caravan meeting. This is wonderful. Um, yeah, I'm not going to attack them. You guys got anything worth... All you got is drugs. I don't really need to trade with anyone. <clears throat> yeah, Deadbeat the Wolf. Not not the greatest name that's ever come up randomly from the name randomizer. A boom rat self-tamed. So that little boom rat over there was like, you know what? I'm going to go live with them. I will name him... Splody. Good old Splody the Boom Rat. Um, Splody, I'd like you to stay home if possible. Animal starvation? Certainly not. Why are you starving? I thought, can't you eat kibble? Doesn't kibble count as, uh... Um. Oh wait, Muggsy are still in animals inside. Maybe because it's just a straight up carnivore, it can't actually eat. Um. Can't actually eat kibble. Yeah, I don't know. But I would rather Muggsy not starve to death. So. Is that really 120? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, the other ones were survival meals. Uh, let's... I may as well do this. Da 
Damn. Alright, because these, I think, are... <laughs> Splinter, you're going to eat that whole thing? You finished the whole thing. She finished the whole thing. I'm running out of places to store this food now that we have it all. Um... I mean, compressing it into meals is, like, a good idea, I think. Yeah, I mean, may as well just have them attempt to uh, make them survival meals. I guess, really, at this point, any thing we can kind of build up is, uh, is going to be useful. Also, it seems like this has now served its purpose immediately because I don't want Rick running all over the map just to find, like, slag chunks of steel. Um, it's not horribly cold yet, so I think that maybe we will go do some mining. Uh, yeah, we've exhausted everything here, everything there. I think the next closest is this chunk. Because we got the one that fell up here. There's actually some components to mine up there. Um, yeah, may as well go take this out. Just keep people busy as much as we can. Tattered apparel. There are like plenty of things for them to change into and yet they refuse. How's our... Oh, you know what I forgot to fucking give them? I forgot to give them uh, bedrolls. That was silly. They're going to be so grumpy when they show up. I mean, if they're cheap, maybe I'll buy them bedrolls in... Uh, Ooh, item stash quest. Ooh. Uh, yes. Okay. Five manhunting muffalos is, like, not a big deal. So this will be a two-day trip and then three back, which will mean five, which will give us about seven days to get there. Um, fine. What if Steve went on a journey? 3.8 days? Okay. All right. So I think we have enough time for these nerds to get back. But, like, we definitely want to get up on this Persona core. Because that, you know, without one of those, we just, we won't ever launch the spaceship. Sorry, plants. I think we can start trending down a little bit of our production here. Since we have hydroponics inside. <laughs> yes, the poor potatoes. They did not make it. Yeah, Riceopolis used to be a, a huge area, but it has slowly been uh, removed. 
Hello, Funkus. The other thing we're going to need is some space to build this actual ship. Um, it would be dope if we could, like, you know, build a platform out here, but it I believe it has to be on uh, heavy supporting ground, so we're going to need actual ground. Um, and mud won't work. So, I was thinking about it a bit, and I think... If we kind of, you know, extended our walls just up a little bit around the corner of this stuff and kind of, you know, maybe came in in line with this, we could make ourselves a little ship port up here. And you know, we'd have to move turrets and build a bunch of hallways and make it like a big, you know, really shitty to get to, but... So that's a consideration for the future, not necessarily immediately. Hurry up, guys. Zim and Oracle chatted about guilty pleasures while doing science and engineering. Awesome. Seidel, why are you so sad? You're in serious pain. Why are you in serious pain? Oh. I forgot about that left eye injury. Don't love that you're in that bad a mood. Hey, Seidel, you know what would be a fun idea? If you went home and had dinner instead of working in the dark. Hello, Amazing Eve. Oh, you aren't trained to haul yet, but you're getting there. I don't really have much interest in fucking getting to know the coalition of Cobornia either. <clears throat> Food is a good. Thankfully, as soon as you finished your food, you then went to sleep in your comfy bed. And didn't go on a punching spree or something of the like. How are I doing on components? 66, all right. Let's see, can we actually build anything from the ship? Ah, uh, yes, just a structural beam. Can I... Yeah, it won't go on mud or anything. Alright, that makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, right now we know how to build just a structural beam for the ship. Um, you know, we, we won't be putting it together tonight by any stretch of the imagination, but um, when it is time to build a ship, I will likely build up, or look up uh, some sort of, you know, very efficient route of doing it. Because I, I was thinking about it in that every colonist and every animal we want to get off of this rim world requires a sarcophagus to sleep in. Or not a sarcophagus, a, a crypto sleep casket, I think is what it's called. Um, firstly, it would be nice if people survived to use them, but realistically, if we were to bring everybody off the planet, that's, you know, three, six, nine, twelve 
colonists plus at least a few animals. So that's, you know, 14, 15, 16 of those uh, cryosleep caskets. Good old science Zim. I'm going to figure out how to build a spaceship by working at a table with two exposed... Whoa, whoa, what was that? Oh. <laughs> Fuck me. The flash came in and I was like... Something exploded. We're all dead. Turns out it's fine. But Seidel <laughs> so commented about practicing with claymores to no no. Strange. Good job, James. These trees are unhappy. I really hope I'm lucky here and we get a, uh, a rainstorm to follow the flash storm because I really don't want to use everybody's day to go around fighting fires outside. Alright, that was not the longest flash storm in the history of mankind. Don't get burnt, Snarfy. Be careful. Still digging away up here. I wonder how many turrets it will take to defend our, uh, our spaceship. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> so yeah, apologies for the uh, not particularly snappy commentary or not very interesting or creative uh, RimWorld content, but this is that phase of the game where we need 900,000 advanced components and 2 billion components, and we just have to gather a ton of resources. And before we even begin the process of building the ship, we have to have lots and lots of, uh, you know, materials kind of banked up. Hey, you guys did it. Why can't Gallant talk? I actually don't remember. Wait, no. Oh, because of medium pain from their scars? All right, um, first things first, Gretel, Ty, Deadbeat, Marat, and Webb. We'll keep Big Boy and Wanda, and Punkus. Uh, next step, Ambrosia. Get rid of all that. Um, what else can we sell? Uh, that was pretty much it, right? Okay. Nothing here that we really need. No, I don't want to buy helmets from you. 
All right, where are your components? Oh, doomsday rocket launchers. <sighs> that would be nice. A bionic heart. And a bionic stomach. All right, you guys have five advanced components. That's it, huh? Um, yeah, I don't need any of that. <laughs> Oops, did you guys see the uh, pop-up just now? I don't know if that comes up on the layer that's actually being recorded or not, but... I assume you heard it. Okay. Yeah, it was a origin noise. Hmm. Alright, we still have plenty of this package survival meals, and I guess we'll keep the kibble. Oh, and we ended up with some caribou meat, too. We'll buy 20 of this. <laughs> what is the origin of the origin noise? It would be, uh, one evil hippie logging on to play a video game. Um, I guess this is everything we really need. Oh, wait, Plasteel. I don't think this is going to be... It's probably just not going to be too heavy. Okay, good. We could get more plasteel, I guess. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. May as well make their trip worth it. As worth it as it can be. Alright. Home as quickly as you can. Oh, wait. <laughs> they did it. They arrived. They don't have any bed rolls, did they? Nope. Well, <laughs> sorry, guys. Just get home quick. Yeah, there was fire because of the flash storm. Um... Probably only lasted like half a day or so. Ah, oh, ass. Now it's snowing. That's not ideal. That makes it a much more annoying proposition for our intrepid explorers to get home in a, a quick fashion. It's still going to take 3.4 days, huh? How's this Persona Core doing? 9.6? And it was like a four day journey? Yeah. When they are close by, like within a day or so, I could definitely add, uh, you know, just, just make a new caravan to go up and murder some muffaloes. Hey, hippie! 
Que pasa? Good rhythm to that. <clears throat> yes, indeed. All you need do is speak evil hippie's name, and he arrives. Oh, not too much. I'm just, you know, doing this. Colony's going along all right. Three times in front of a mirror. Does the does the webcam count as a mirror? Because, like... Oh, good. <sighs> All right. Well, it's a poison ship, which is okay. It's not going to fuck with shit too aggressively immediately. But we are going to have... Another fun time repositioning a bunch of turrets. Thankfully for us, much of this shit has already been set up for us because I'm pretty sure the last poison ship that landed fell like right here. That's really funny. This is still connected. Yeah. All right, well. Hey, I guess it it's more advanced components and and uh class deal. A fire ship would be really shitty. Um some of the I think a number of these actually do create snow underneath them. Might one of the psychic ship I think does. So these two friendos are going to take 2.7 days to get home. Oh, did I just miss... Wait, was Dragon pregnant or did they give birth? Pregnant. I'm moderately concerned about... Uh, What's going to come out of this bad boy? Charge. Sword. Sniper. Nothing. Mini. Assault, 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 assault. And then I think this is just sword. <clears throat> Well, we did manage to put together a shit ton of components. Um, annoyingly, this is a little further away than I'd like it to be. Definitely do two rows here of turrets. Um, all right, let's see. I think this is good.
God, that fucking noise. It always puts me on edge. That's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty one, twenty four. About thirty or so. Yeah, right. Strangely non non snowy in that vicinity. Um, alright, where do we pull from next? Let's take a couple off the beach, I guess. Let's move these front four. One. Uh, go left with this one. Two. Want layers. Three and then this bad boy. <clears throat> that should do. <sighs> Let it run a bit. So there's seven and four plus four, which will be 15. It'll be interesting to see how many Scythers come out uh, versus, like, Charge Gunners or Centipedes. Um, ideally, there will be more Scythers, but not too many, so that they start rushing the turrets and we can take chunks out of them before they really get any work done. Where else do I want to pull from? I guess I can just build two more or so. Snarfy's pregnant. All right, that I guess that's probably enough. <laughs> Oops, all centipedes, no. Don't you bring that bad juju on me, Alks. I mean, oops, all dumbass centipedes is not the worst thing. Because it's e they're easy to hit. And they, if they are nice to me and take their time and go, like, turret by turret by turret. And don't fuck with my, uh, you know, colonists who are right behind the turrets hoping they don't get shot at. That's fine.
Uh oh. Um. Wait, but. Like. Oh no, this squirrel is cool. It's just that one. I mean, unless... No, whoa, whoa, whoa. We did it, you guys! <laughs> so good. I'm so proud of lightning for smushing one squirrel. Oh, mushrooms. This is why I should have made the squirrel army. I mean, it didn't do that well. <laughs> we'll take the dead squirrel with us. All right, yeah, like, they're going to take everything. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, that was, uh... I was worried. I saw ambushed, and I was like, oh, God, like... Lightning is the only real fighter in that group, and the animals, you know, can be helpful, but, you know, I don't want them to get murdered along with the other colonists, too, and one squirrel. And I even I even thought the second, the, the top one was going to be an evil squirrel, but no. It was a friendo squirrel. It saw the other squirrel and was like, no, I'm not like that. That's not me. Just about them nuts. Getting them, eating them, storing them. It's my life. Who's on constructies right now? Okay, there's there's three people. Seven point seven, one point four. So that'll give us exactly a week to get up there. Oh. Oh wait, not maybe not that many. I'm gonna suspend these for now. There's going to be some hungry animals around here, or they're just going to start eating all the meat. Ugh. Forgot to lean back and not slouch. Okay, good. These are getting built. Wow, Seidel's in a great mood. Good. Steve's not in a great mood, but that's because it's daytime, and he does not like that. Let's go, caravan.
nervous about this ship. I'm really hoping that, uh... Alright, beautiful. I'm a little concerned about uh, there being a lot of motherfuckers coming out of that ship. Snookwolf has given birth. Again. Was it to Paprika? Who is my tiniest wolf right now? <laughs> I think that Snookwolf gave birth to Paprika and Pepe. Which is actually kind of an adorable pair of names. Pepper and Paprika would probably be a little cuter. But Pepe and Paprika... It'll do. Okay, they're, they'll get here midday tomorrow. Thank God. <sighs> we do have people who can seamstress. But people just always want to wear tattered shit. What? Okay, your button-down shirt needs replacement. Your flak jacket is... Your flak vest is crappy. And you've got the pants on, too. Pants. Shirt. 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 Alright. Pepper and Paprika were your Cyndaquil names. Aw. It's the right way to go with that, I think. So. Here's my thinking. This is 6.7 days left. It's going to be 6 days. Basically, we're going to have to send a group to go and do that. However, we also have the problem of this motherfucking poison ship that's sitting right here. Um, I actually don't remember if they wake up after a certain number of weeks or days or something. Yeah, I actually don't remember. Oh, a construction engineer from the Concord of Northwest Ethbium. Her name is Makare Meki Mahariel. That's a cool name. <laughs> you're nice and you're a careful shooter. I feel like I like this person. <laughs> oh, mm. everyone's favorite. So this is about finished building. So when Gallant and Lightning return, I think the immediate concern is going to be get rid of this thing. If... If, like, a lot of people get injured then I'll be more hesitant to send more of them, more people on a a trip to go get that Persona core. But, like, they're only uh, five, mm, was it Maddened Muffaloes? Like, Manhunter Muffaloes? Yeah. So, like, that's not such a huge deal. They, they do have, like, their, you know, health tanks and stuff, but with enough guns... I think we could do it. So priority number one, 
is get rid of this uh, poison ship. See how we survive. And then we send a group up. And we can even send an animal handler with, like, eight fucking dogs. And, a, you know, a warg and hell. We can send Amazing Steve and Amazing Eve. Um, that'll be a, a pretty ballin' combo, I think. these harvestable? Oh yeah, those should be. Fucking, yeah. Slaking going nuts. Amazing Steve and Amazing Eve are already wandering around up here. Like, ooh, I feel like we're gonna fuck something up in this vicinity. Come on. I feel like it would be a fun idea. I like could maybe even try like dropping some mortars on these bastards. Cuz I think uh, Rick's got the sniper rifle right now, which has a pretty crazy range, but even he might not be able to hit it from here. Come on, bros. Or, I think... Uh, I think one of them's female, one of them's male. Anyway, let's go, friendos. Wait until they arrive. Come on. There we go. Is Big Boy carrying anything? No. Oh. For a second it looked like he was wearing something. But I think it was just a trick of the eye. Good. Muffalo Herd, you guys want to hang around here. Do not go back up north. That is not where you want to be. Alright, so pretty much we attack tomorrow morning. Unless I want to send somebody up there ahead of time. Yeah, I guess we attack in the morning. Give everybody a chance to go to sleep. Get food. These guys are all geared up already, I think. Interesting. Not a priority at this second, but interesting. All right, well, all this has been built, so. Can nonviolent people use mortars? Like, could I have, who's a nonviolent? CJ, ah. You're incapable of violence. You don't even have to see the violence happen. It's like 200 yards away. Man, it sucks. Being like being completely incapable of picking up a weapon really fucks with uh, 
set up. Right. They couldn't, they couldn't like, hold a shield or, you know, help load a gun or something like that. <coughs> Alright, motherfuckers, it's done. What time is it? 9.23? Alright, we have time for this. Motherfucking everybody go up there. Animals. Who is on attack duty? Where's that? That's just hunting, okay. Um, big boy, get up there. Okay. Dawn of the most poisonous day, in fact. Can Rick even hit? Uh, just about actually. Maybe if he goes in this corner. Stop talking about things, you guys. Gallant, you also don't have anything to offer in terms of attack. James Games, hang out here. Seidel's a good shooter. Zim's a good shooter. Barkley's a good shooter. Hippie's a good shooter. Oracle, play defense on the right. Nobody, I guess, hide back here until something happens. Okay. So, oh, of course. That's fucking hilarious. Um, so we have this all set up for the moment. I think everybody's ready. We have a ton of turrets. If somehow they come out with, like, 92 scythers or something and we have to run... We can at least do so with cover of turrets behind us. Um, anything I'm forgetting here, audience? I don't think so. Actually, Amazing Eve and Amazing Steve. Okay, Lightning and CJ can also handle you. Why don't you guys... Yeah, why don't you hang out with CJ? Same with you, Muggsy. Snurfy's with Oracle, that's fine. Oleg and Dragon are with CJ. Mazel Tov. Slyer with lightning as his big boy, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So. We have no rocket launchers, which is good. We have an inferno cannon, which kind of sucks. Um, because it's not fun to get lit on fire. We have at least three Lancers and what looks to be 
Just two Scythers. Two Scythers. Two Lancers. And two Centipods. I immediately like that all my turrets are ripping off. Yes, that took a big chunk of damage. Alright. So Rick is probably the only person who's going to be able to hit from here. Until they get down a bit further. That's okay, because it leaves these motherfuckers up here far away. Rick, I want you... There's both Scythers. That's a good start. This centipede is going to keep taking shots. These Lancers are already injured. Let's go turrets. Hold it together. I really would like Rick to like critical hit kill this centipede here. Because this power conduit if it melts, is going to start taking out turrets. Because they will no longer be powered. Die, you fucking thing. Also, I really would like those lancers to go down, if at all possible. Ooh, you're so close to dead, you chud. Just die. Nope, stop lighting everything on fire. I hate you. Hit him, Rick. Yes, all right. Inferno Bro is down for the count for the moment. We've got these two Lancers and a Centipede. Oh, sick. This is good. I I think we've done a good job here. Um in fact, it might be time to push to finish. not really a good angle. I don't actually think this can be seen through. Oh no, who's on a mint? Oh, miner. Okay. Yeah, that thing's going to take a lot more shots. Okay, I don't know if he can actually hit him from there.
Yes, James Games is like a fucking surgeon with that, uh... With that minigun. Ooh. Okay, good. They're not... He's not firing at Barkley and Hippie, but he will be shortly. Yes! Okay. Um... That was good. We didn't even really lose a ton of turrets. Actually, James, I have a special job for you. Um, these two, this can all be done. Non-combatants, why don't you guys come up and give us some help? Go, go, gadget, animals, picking up all the bodies. Yes, just what I wanted. No, no, you're unactive. Um, let's unsuspend these. So, easy peasy is exactly correct. Um, what I'm going to do is have, oh, okay, yeah, grab that, nope, don't harvest a rice plant, Seidel, oh, you will never do hauling, you suck, Rick, get that. James, light it up. Fuck this fucking thing. Okay. All those are now unrequired. James, you can rest. Everybody else is doing something at the moment, I think. So, since we did that, we now have this item stash, which we have about five days to go get, which effectively, I think, means we pretty much got to send people right now. Um, I'll send lightning, and I got to change a bunch of animals to lightning. I'm not just going to just send lightning, but um where is Mugsy? There's some more wolves. We'll send yep, Dopey is already Ah, uh, Dopey isn't trained for Oh wait. Yeah, okay, Dopey is. Um One, two, three, uh, I don't really want to send Sly. Eh, whatever, Sly can handle it. Four, five, 
Six, seven, yeah, all right. So, immediately from here, we form a caravan. That caravan consists of lightning. It also consists of... Uh, I'm gonna have to bring a bunch of fucking food. Muggsy. We're taking Dopey. Um, and I immediately have forgotten who the other animals we're going to send are. So we're going to need a pack rat of some kind. So we'll send Punkus. Punkus, Amazing Eve, Amazing Steve. I don't want to send Dopey and Mazel Tov, though. Uh, all right. Big Boy Muggsy. And Wanda. No, Big Boy Muggsy and Julia. All right. You two, Muggsy. Big Boy and Julia. And that should I think do for the time being um, we're also going to send Punkus we're going to send Lightning and does Hippie have any uh, medical his medical is pretty low um Who's got the Seidel? How's your medical? All right, Rad. We're gonna send Seidel. Send Seidel. We're gonna throw down ten of these. We're gonna bring fifty hay. We're gonna bring two hundred kibble. We're gonna bring. Twenty of these. Actually, wait, I know why this is doing it. Um we're gonna send a hundred caribou meat. Yeah, that immediately brings it up to four. Um two hundred caribou meat. Ten packaged, ten simple do that. Alright, this does increase, so... So hay doesn't really help that much. We'll just send him with a bunch of kibble. The annoying problem here is that they need food to get all the way up to uh, okay. They need food to get all the way up to um, this encounter, and then they're going to need food to get back down. Ah, bed rolls. Oh, my goodness, it's a nanocarp. Okay, this will take them 13.7. Yeah, Seidel and Lightning are the slowest. Oh, interesting. I hadn't even thought of the fact that they'll hit um, Coral on the way. Wait, no. <laughs> Shit, how do I unchoose? Oh, there we go. Step one. 
step two. And we'll also send you with a bunch of silver. How come you only have 6.2 days of food now? Aren't we up to 11? I didn't add or subtract anybody. Oh no, your car is fucked? That stinks. Never fun to have something like get totaled like that. Alright. So we got a gunslinger, a sword swinger. Two huskies, a fucking wolf bro, and two mega sloths. Um, I mean, it'll basically be a seven on five, and we're ballers, and they're just cows. So, oh, yep, they do need this. Let's do it. Ah, beautiful. And we can use this next uh, 15 minutes or so to replace a bunch of the things we stole from our uh, um, camp down there. And make ourselves feel even safer because there's guns everywhere how's the colony holding up um pretty well it hasn't been entirely without issue like there's been problems here or there um but i think generally things have gone pretty well um trying to think we we you know had colonists die but that was kind of a while ago um it's been moderately smooth so far since then knock on wood All right, beautiful. They're underway already. So that'll be 1.2 to there, and this is 5.2 five, five left, and this trip to here, here to here is going to be maybe two days, so. All right. That is a very nice thing to find at this point in the game. Um, who's dead? Oh, the third edition would be Spirit. One of our most baller dogs in terms of just trying to get shit done and murdering things and doing a good job. Um, I think one of the few casualties from an encounter we had semi-recently. Um, unfortunate. But Spirit went down like a boss. Oh no, all my corms. 
That strange sound. Sounds like sweeping. Oh, it's the auto door. Duh. <clears throat> well, yeah, probably something that's worth uh, investing in. Maybe with some more auto doors. I'm really digging our duo here of uh, No No and Nobody. Just hitting up these two desks. I'm glad you dig it too, No No. Still makes me laugh that we have a dog named God. This one has not been moved yet. Hmm. Did I miss any other ones? There's this one too but that's it right all right <clears throat> ah so nice we are bristling with guns We've like we've had nice little pair offs like Oracle, Zim, and Steve have ended up working in this room together so fucking long. Zim just researching endlessly, and Steve and Oracle putting shit together. And <laughs> yep, wooden drug lab. No need to build a non wooden one because I'm not gonna explode it. We are definitely going through this caribou meat, which is kind of funny. And before drop pod accidentally right into the drug lab, no. Again, <clears throat> we don't need that bad mojo. Oh, why are we under? because there's like no wind whatsoever oh a supply pod fell into your hospital ugh that's like the most annoying possible result oh it missed it so it fucked up the carpet which is still annoying but at least it wasn't truly deeply murderous All right, you guys made it to Corral. Good job. Uh, let's trade. 
Not gonna sell any aminals. Advanced components are 0 0.6 kilograms each. Oh, they have a lung and a liver. Interesting. Oh, animals neurotrainer mech serum? That'd be nice. Or would have been nice to have gotten earlier. I mean, I think this is the only trade we're going to do for the moment. They can... I, I left some silver, so they can... Trade for it eventually. Alright, 2.3 days to destination, 3.5 left on it. <coughs> yeah, there's... I mean... The game is kind of a little bit of a oh neat, um, you know it's 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 a little bit of a, a random crapshoot sometimes because you know on occasion you get an amazing random item and on other times you get something that's you know completely useless and uh, nobody last time or the last um, significant thing to die was um, spirit, um, which I think. Uh, Nano hadn't watched since uh, Spirit went down. Patron Saint of Dagos. You should have stuff to do. Oh, we finally had an insecto meet. Um, you may now use uh, buffalo meat. So still meals, simple. All right, so they've got a bunch to catch up on there, but that's also because I sent a bunch. Uh, who's the best trader currently? I ask this every time, and I forget every time. Hippie, probably... Ooh, Rick, is that an inspired surgery? Oh. Alright, it's probably Rick, because he's got no uh, medical issues. <laughs> it has indeed been a while. Oh, interesting. You want to buy my dogs. Eh. Um, however... This is a perfect opportunity to... stock up on some shit. Let's see, what garbage do we have to sell to you? Couple of great beds. I can get rid of this grand sculpture. That. This crappy Hellboy hat. That duster. We'll save some extra ones just in case. This duster. This dog leather button-down shirt, which I really don't want to even own in the first place. Alright, they've got 1,100. Um... I don't really want any of their stuff. <clears throat> I 
Oh boy, I'm running low on steals. I might just buy some steel from them. Oh yeah, I can sell this dumbass chem fuel. This is perfect. Wish they would buy hay. Wait, actually, do they buy hay? Did not even pay attention, but I don't think so. Okay, yeah, they won't buy it. <clears throat> Well, all fucking right. Um, <clears throat> we're in a pretty good position right now, and we, in fact, are right at our target of uh, 10 p.m. Um, honestly, this session went really fucking well. Um, we, you know, fought off that uh, poison ship and have dealt with things pretty well overall. Um, you know, got more animals, sold some stuff, have been building up our things. This AI core is going to be a big, important thing. We got a lot of research done. Um, overall, I think we've had a great, a great session. You know, maybe one or two more of these and we'll start, we'll, we'll actually be able to start putting spaceship parts down, um, you know. Barring any disaster, which, you know, this game is really good at providing. So, there's plenty of ca uh, plenty of possibility things will get shitty, but uh, at least at the moment we don't have to worry about it. Um, I think I'm going to save it, pause it and save it here, just because the trader is still here. So, next time at the beginning of the screen, while I'm rambling on at the beginning, um, we can possibly make sure if there's anything else we want to load off on them. Um, but, yeah. Pretty fucking good. And uh, we'll have a, our new AI friend pretty soon as well. Um, anybody who comes and watches next time, please remind me if for some reason I forget to watch the group that's approaching the cows. You know, to, so make sure that I can take control right away and so that doesn't go south accidentally. Um, but yeah, um, what is going to happen next is I'm going to sign off. And uh, John is going to be doing Trials of Mana, um, probably starting maybe, you know, 10.30, I would estimate, between when I let him know I'm done and when he actually starts up. But, um, you know, you get a notification for the stream as per normal. Uh, so, yeah. Um, thanks, everybody, for coming. It was great. Um, I am going to go get some food and probably settle back in to watch John's stream as well. So stick around if you want to see some Trials of Mana. And thank you all for coming to this stream. I appreciate it. I will catch you all later. Peace out.